Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try a Montblanc Legend Red. So we got a little bottle of Legend Red. It's not a fragrance I wanted to try, but I got the little bottle for free. So I'm gonna do the review. One of the good point of going always to the same place to buy fragrances is that the gifts, even if you're not supposed to have those gifts with what you purchase. Now those little bottles come with the drawback of not being a spray bottle. So as you can expect from the Legend line, it's a really sweet fragrance. You have a lot of grapefruit. You have a lot of blood orange also. In a way, it makes me think a mix of Polo Red Extreme. Like without the coffee and all, but Polo Red Extreme and the Invictus. You have some clary sage. And that's about it from paper. And my skin. The top notes, I'm having a lot of blood orange. A bunch of grapefruit, a bunch of clary sage, a bunch of mahogany. A little bit of cedar, a little bit of tonka bean. And a heart note, I'm having a lot of clary sage, a bunch of cedar, a little bit of mahogany, a little bit of tonka bean. And in a base note, I'm having a bunch of cedar, a bunch of mahogany, and a little bit of tonka bean. Projection is really bad. It's more of a skin scent than anything. Longevity, though, is really great. It's 7 to 12 hours. Now, we see a lot of people saying that the longevity is moderate, and I need to say that at one point, what I'm picking up is just some uh, aroma chemical, probably at that range, the four hour mark or something like that. It's mostly just some leftover aroma chemical that might seem that it's not going to stay for a long time, but it actually stays for a really long time. It, I could still smell it pretty easily, but maybe it's because I'm always smelling stuff and training my nose and someone that is not used to do this, maybe they won't be able to smell it. For the complete note breakdown, top notes are blood orange, grapefruit, and cardamom. Heart notes are cedar, clary sage, juniper berry, and base notes are atlas cedar, mahogany, and tonka bean. Now, where would see this fragrance? I don't think it would be a good business fragrance. It's super sweet. Um, as a dating fragrance, I think it's where it will shine the most. Again, a sweet fragrance like all the other, but it's a bit more unique since there is some blood orange. Grapefruit isn't so unique, but it's, it's starting to be the redundant a little bit. It's just sweet with a lot of other stuff around it. Some citrus, some spices, and a little bit of wood. But it's a mix that is still winning, so it's going to be good dating fragrance. In the summer winter spectrum, I think it will be better in summer. The, the smell is, yeah, it's still like sweet and all, so it might be a bit intense in summer. It could maybe over spray, but the projection is not crazy, so you could wear it in summer more easily than in winter. In winter, it won't really project well enough. And as an everyday scent, I think it's a bit too sweet. If you really enjoy sweet scent, that will probably work because the projection is not intense. Still smell nice. And mess appealing so it's something you could get compliment last the whole day there's everything on the fragrance to make it a good everyday scent just know that it's a really sweet scent so if you don't like sweet scent it's gonna be bad for you but it will do a good job as an everyday scent so hope you enjoyed the video if it's the case well like and share if you tried this fragrance Mont Blanc legend red tell me what you think about it also if you're a big fan of Mont Blanc legend Tell me which one is your favorite flanker or the original. So thanks for watching and see you soon.